Tonight, 10 News was sent this video of flames engulfing a parked truck in City Heights. Now, the witness who captured the fire tells 10 News reporter Rial Creighton it's part of a string of suspicious fires in the area in just the recent months, and it's making neighbors very nervous. The neighbors will tell you they are almost certain this fire is connected to at least one other in the neighborhood, and the evidence is all over this truck. The hood mostly intact, but then you walk to the back and you take a look. You can see the back is almost completely incinerated, and that is because witnesses say the fire started back here. Dude, that's crazy. The sky high fireball drew Joe Collins from nearly two blocks away. He took out his phone and started rolling. And we could feel the heat on the other side of the fence. The flames extinguished. He was back at the scene to inspect what was underneath that inferno. A burned out truck still sitting at 52nd Street and City Heights. Just the latest, he says, in a string of fires that have been happening in his neighborhood, which also happens to border this quarry that at night, he says, is full of transients. Last month, it was this blaze he captured after fire investigators say someone torched this abandoned building at 50th and University behind his apartment. Back then, his neighbor telling 10 News the same story he told police. He had a confrontation with a teddy bear toting suspect leaving within minutes of the smoke. I said, did you just come from over there and light that fire? And he's, oh, no, I was just, just walking through. Fire officials couldn't say whether the fires are connected, but say both were intentional. This truck parks in front of our apartment complex building where the other fire was last time. Seared into Colin's brain at the moment. I think that someone around here is just lighting fires. In City Heights, Riel Creighton, 10 News. And the truck went up in flames near the San Diego Rescue Mission. Fire officials say there was about $12,000 in damage.